I had no cruel intentions, nor did I act on raw emotion. I mean, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, and there's no doubt that this had to be done. Look, don't worry, it's fine, this was not your fault, business is business. He would have done the same if he knew without a second thought. What he was going to do was out of pure hatred, complete anger. It surpassed necessity and bordered on lunacy. I had no cruel intentions, nor did I act on raw emotion. I simply did what had to be done. Well, all these years on the job and you finally turned into the booze guzzling, slime ball isolated detective that you see in the pictures. And a damn good one at that, Chief, if you don't mind me saying. Watch your language, Walt. I'm not here to bump gums with you. I got something to talk to you about. Let's take a walk. It's our department's end of your party, Chief. I mean, why don't you just kick back for a night? Go out drinking like the good old bad old days. Walt, I'm taking you off the West Avenue Moiders case. Family man these days. Strictly city juice. I forgot. Well, I'm putting you on the fat floor here. What? Look, this bus could mean a lot for the department. It, it could mean a lot for us, and I want only the best working on it. We gotta bring chaos to these men. But maybe there are bigger fish to fry. I mean, this could be just another Brody. Uh, this ain't no mistake, and I'm sure these ain't just regular crumbs. These are big fish and all in the same basket. One job, we could take them all out. Suppose you tell me what you know. Spill it. What happened to not mixing business with pleasure? I guess crime doesn't sleep. You know, using lines like that don't really make you less of a pictures detective. I'm a regular Humphrey Bogart. What can I say? Now, are you gonna tell me what you know or not? Because quite frankly, there are a few lookers around here. All right. The first gang member is Tony Marcello. He runs a drug trafficking business down in Mexico. No remaining family members. Wait, so you know who all these men are? Please, let me finish. The second gang member's name is Lucas Williams. He's the trigger man, the king of shit for brains goons. It shouldn't be too hard to bring in a lead squatter like Lucas, but I want to bring in all these guys, which means we have to get the third member, Joe Crawford. Well, who's the fourth member? This isn't a goddamn Q&A, Walt. Let me finish. The third member, Joe Crawford. He's an illegal arms dealer who supplies Lucas and every other trigger man in the state with the gats, bean shooters, Chicago typewriters and convincers they need to kill, well, whoever they want. Uh, look, this is where you come in. I need you. To find the fourth man, the leader of the Fat Four. Sounds like you're a real Abercrombie on the subject, Chief. We need to nail these cats, Walter. This one gang is made up of at least three incredibly powerful and dangerous men. Real wrong numbers. Just one big bus like this is all we need to get the city back on our side. Show them who's still in charge. We don't need to be kippy about this. Screw the big house. Screw putting them under glass. I'm not going to stop till I find these guys and put them to sleep. With or without the help of the police department. But it would be a lot easier with your help. Come on, old friends. Let me fire. We can do this together. Nobody ever wanted it to come to this, Chief. <laughs> Least of all myself. After all these years, we were doing so well, but I guess your success would have been cataclysmic to me, and, well, precautions must be made to keep Jekyll and Hyde most firmly apart. I guess this is our final kiss off. The first gang member is probably have to get the third member. Joe I'm not Crawford. going to stop till I find these guys and put them. This is where you come in. I need you to find. The fourth man, the leader of the Fat Four. 